Heather with Feather Bear. Um, in this video today, I am going to show you how to take a picture frame and turn it into a glittery whiteboard. So this particular picture frame I picked up at a discount store. Um, it was like $5. You can pick them up at the dollar store, Salvation Army. Like this can be really, really inexpensive. You do not have to go and buy super expensive frames for this. So I am wearing gloves because I did go ahead and clean the glass ahead of time so that I wasn't wasting time doing that on the video and removed the mat that was included. So I am going to take the back of this off and remove the glass. And I'm gonna set the frame aside because I just don't need it right now. So I am going to be propping this up. I'm just sitting it on top of a box, the glass here. I'll turn it this way so you can see better. And I'm going to be using Quick Coat from Counterculture. This is the website there, countercultureDIY.com. This is a urethane sealer that dries clear. And I'm using this because I can paint it on. I can stick my glitter to it. I don't have to worry about epoxy dry times or Mod Podge getting cloudy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of this on there. And I'm just gonna spread it out with a paintbrush. So I just wanna get a coat of this over the entire thing. Now that I have my glass completely coated, I'm going to be using a mixture of Gilded, which is a soft champagne gold and opal custom blend. So I'm going to mix this about 50-50. And then I'm also going to be putting in caramel, which is a size blend, custom blended by us, and a really pretty bronzy gold. Just gonna mix this up. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it on. Now I should have laid paper down, but I didn't, so we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna sprinkle this on here, and then I am gonna grab some paper to dump it onto. So I'm just going to take the glass here and I'm going to just move the glitter around. Coating all of it. Now I'm going to need to flip it around. Go the other direction to get this other edge. Now, if there's some places that you didn't get the glitter on before the adhesive started drying, don't worry. We are going to do a second coat on this. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes for it to be completely dry. Okay, so I'm just going to tap off the excess here. And then I'm going to let this dry and I will come back and do the second coat. Okay, so the first coat that I put on here is dry now. For the second coat, I am going to be using a wider paintbrush. 
That way I can move the product faster over the top of the glitter. And I'm still gonna be using the Quick Coat from Counterculture DIY. I'm gonna just pour some of that on. I wanna make sure I get enough on there so that I can move it around. Get that right up to the edges. You may have to add more as you're looking at it. Like I'm gonna be able to see if what I put on there is gonna be enough or if I'm gonna add more, you'll just have to take a look at it and gauge it for yourself. So I'm going to work that all the way out to every edge. And I am going to need a little bit more on this side. I'm just going to work it from the middle all the way out to each of the edges so I can make sure that the edges get completely coated. All right. Set my brush aside and I'm going in with the glitter again. I'm going to concentrate on the outside edges first with the glitter. Don't worry about the glitter that's falling off in the background or that drives some of you crazy. This was a clean surface when I started. I'm gonna brush it all onto a paper and save it. I'm just gonna dump the rest of what's in this cup on here. And then I'm gonna let that sit and dry. Again, it takes about 20, 30 minutes for it to dry completely. I'm not gonna dust it off this time. I'm just gonna let it sit so that it, it adheres as much glitter as it possibly can. I'll shake it off after it's dry and I will come back and show you guys the final product. Okay, in the last part of the other video, I had put on the second coat of glitter onto the glass. I'm letting that dry. While that's drying, I'm taking the paper that was in the frame when I purchased it, and I'm going to just coat the back of it in a metallic acrylic paint. This isn't a like must do step. This is just what I'm doing to make sure that if there's any parts that didn't fully get coated in glitter that you don't see the white through it. Um, you could just as easily put a piece of similar colored scrapbook paper or anything in there. This is just what I have on hand, so. This is my hack for it. So I'm gonna just take and just do a full coat on here. It does not have to be perfect because this is literally going behind glitter. So like brush strokes are irrelevant here. I just wanna cover the white. And I'm using a Art Alchemy. I'll show you the front of it in just a second. Metallic paint. I'm 
The paper is going to try to roll on me. Anyone who has ever painted over paper, you know that that's just what it's going to do. But again, that's not an issue because this is going to be pressed behind the glitter with the back of the frame on it. So it won't matter. And I'm doing this like super sloppy so that you guys can see in real time that this part does not have to be perfect. Okay, got that done. I am going to encourage it to stick down and lay as flat as it possibly can so I can make sure I get the outside edges. That's it, let this guy dry. And then when I come back, we will be putting the entire thing back together so that you can see how it looks finished and with the dry erase. Helps if I don't smudge paint all over the front of it, but that's why I'm wearing gloves. So this is the Art Alchemy Metallic Paint. And this is in Brass Hardware is the color. I know that's hard to see because I smudged over it but that's what I used here so I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and we're going to put the whole thing back together okay I am back with the final step in the process this is the glass that I showed you guys with the two coats of glitter on it using the quick coat urethane sealer from counterculture DIY the paper that we painted with the metallic paint. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the paper onto the glitter. So this is the raw side of the glitter. This is not the flat glass side. I hope that makes sense. This is the glitter side facing towards me that I'm putting the paper onto. And I'm doing that for two reasons. One, because it'll be easier than trying to do it once it's in the frame. And it'll allow me to grab a hold of this without messing, potentially messing up the glitter. Now the glitter shouldn't get messed up because it's stuck on there, but better safe than sorry, right? This is also just a little piece that was inside the frame. I'm just gonna put that in there for good measure because why not? And then I'm gonna grab my pieces here to put back together. Awesome. And then the back goes right back on. You guys can see what's going on here. It doesn't matter which side goes in first because there is no top or bottom to this. You just got to find the little nook that it slides into and get it in there. And then these close up. There we have it. So then all you're gonna do now is you can either hang this on a wall or if it has one of the little kickstands that you can set it up on a desk, that'll work too. Had to grab my marker. And then you can just create your to-do lists or reminders, your menu. Obviously a thicker tip Expo marker, dry erase is gonna work a lot better and it shows up a lot better in person, but this is what I had for the video. So 
there you go you guys can see that it's a sparkly do-it-yourself dry erase board i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial just a quick little how to hopefully i will be putting out a lot more of these so make sure that you subscribe and follow along for more fun do-it-yourself tutorials with glitter